Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Today I'm at the Whiskey Fair in Mülheim in the Ruhr in Germany 2018 together with... Uh, Ella from Connacht Whiskey Distillery in Ballina County Mayo. Oh, very, very interesting. We have to go to Germany to find someone from Ireland. Very good. Would you please tell me a little about, about this distillery since not many people have heard about it yet? Um, no, there's quite a lot of people heard about us. Yeah. Uh, okay. We are a quite young distillery. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on a market uh, producing for the last two years, yep. since 2016. So Connacht Whiskey Distillery uh, came about in around 2012. Um, our founders, uh, Dave Stapleton and PJ Stapleton, two cousins, um, decided uh, while playing uh, a game of golf <laughs> and that they would like to bring the Irish whiskey to the west of Ireland. So that's the whole idea. Um, the connection between uh, Irish and American, uh, Dave lives in Ireland, uh, PJ is based in, in the st States in Pennsylvania, um, hence we have a quite a lot of different products, not only in Irish whiskey, but we also have Irish-American blend. Exactly. One perfect example of this Irish-American connection is the Brothership, which actually was bottled in Philadelphia. Would you explain a little bit what's going on here, because this is exotic and unique. Uh, it's definitely exotic and unique. Uh, our brothership whiskey uh, came about through the connection of Irish and American, as I explained earlier. Uh, so the whole idea of Irish and um, American whiskey was to blend those two cultures together. Uh, so there was actual a ship called Brother who was bringing Irish immigrants to um, to America, um, and that's our uh, our branding of our brothership. Um, so what we did, it's quite experimental. We took uh, um, uh, Irish. Uh, single malt, 10 year old, and we blend it with light American whiskey. So there's a ratio about 52 to 48 uh, percent with a bit of more Irish whiskey in it, and it gives absolutely beautiful blend of the two flavors. Exactly. And so this was actually bottled and then sent back over to Europe over here. I love your little. Um, the red, white, right, and blue with the stars and with the Irish flag. I just found that very, very nice. Now, I'm going to go to this, which is also a very unique, tiny bottle, but 10-year-old cast-strength Irish whiskey as well. Was this the base for that then? Uh, it was. Okay. Uh, this is Spaden Boschel is a 10 year old single malt, and this is our sourced whiskey. Uh, it's a beautiful strand, 57.5% um, pure uh, single malt, and that's what we decided to base our brothership on. Exactly. And the last one that we have with whiskey, you have a lot of gin and so on, I know, but I'm whiskey, Jason. We have this Ballyhoo, and Ballyhoo was one of the most unique whiskeys I've had. It's a grain whiskey, but not just grain, it's a little bit different. Uh, we put a tiny bit of twist into our <laughs> Ballyhoo. Uh, so Ballyhoo uh, was originally four-year-old single grain. Uh, we uh, put the Ballyhoo into the port casks for about 12 weeks uh, to just uh, take away the tiny bit of tingle. Uh, from of the grain whiskey and we put lovely uh, finish of the port which gives you nice sweetness and a lot of herby flavors exactly and I actually said in my video I think this might be one of the best mixing whiskies I've had for a long time something with cranberry juice and this would be excellent actually and pure I liked it as well this was the best whiskey I've had from your um, raw, your series so far now what can we expect in the future when will you actually have from your own distills your own juice uh, so we actually now in the second coming into the third year of agent. So um, our new make, uh, it's been uh, aged in the back of our distillery. We have um, we have bonded warehouse when we have a quite a lot of casks. Uh, at the moment, double and triple distilled. Yeah. Um, we will expect our Connacht whiskey to be out next year, so end of next year. So there's no date yet. Um, so you have to follow us. You have to watch our space to just to just get a bit of updates on that. But in meantime, we also will be bringing to the market different products. As Jason mentioned, I know your whiskey, Jason. We <laughs> also have a gins and a vodkas, different uh, different products in our portfolio. But we will have uh, different versions of our. Uh, source whiskey coming into the market in the next few weeks. For example, um, our beautiful 10 year old single malt um, has um, um, second um, second part of new whiskey coming in. So we will have a 12 year old um, at 42.3% ABV double barreled uh, coming in on the market in the next four to six weeks. All right, very good. Now you mentioned something I heard for the very first time you have double and triple distilled. I did not know that. What's the difference and why? 
Um, originally, everybody um, everybody like have a different whiskies at the moment uh, on the market. So yeah. our industry is growing. Um, the original Irish whiskey always were double and triple yeah. distilled hands. We do also have them um, in the market. There is a slightly different in the flavor. Um, now to, to see the difference between double and triple distilled, you definitely have to come down to the west of Ireland to visit and taste. <laughs> exactly. West Ireland, you're basically in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's not very close to any big cities or am I wrong? We are in the beautiful west of Ireland. Uh, yep. We are in somewhere in between uh, Galway and Donegal. Yep. Yep. Um, now we are based on the White Atlantic Way. This is our uh, this is our attribute of where our distillery is yep. based. Um, it is a wild Atlantic Way. It's Perfect. a wild part of Ireland, yep. um, but it's definitely worth the visit. Yeah. Do I have to sign up for a um, tour, or just can I walk in and say hi? Um, at the moment, we're getting really, really busy. Even though we are based in the west of Ireland, which is not, uh, which is not common for the visitors no. yet. Um, but you no, know, you do have to let us know when you come. And we have a scheduled tours. We have a beautiful visitor center, and the girls over there are doing the booking. So, if you are planning to come and visit, we have a scheduled tours at half twelve and half three every day. But do definitely give us a call and let us know that you're coming. All right, or we can find you at www dot connectwhiskey.com very very good and you have a great social media campaign by the way I really liked a lot of your videos and your Facebook posts and so on well done there all right whiskey Jason here whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany together with Ella from connect whiskey distillery thank you very much thank you very much